Hello everyone and welcome uh, to my kitchen where I'm absolutely delighted to be able to invite Alla who's come all the way from Ukraine to teach us all about Ukrainian culture and food and this is all part of a fundraiser for the Food in Ukraine appeal which you can all help with. So as they say in Ukrainian, Rivit, welcome, uh, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you Tim for inviting me. Today we're going to cook uh, Ukrainian borscht. As I understand, this is like a spring summer one, so it's really light, it's fresh, it's cold, and you've got some incredible ingredients. Yeah, it's a green onion, a radish, a dill, potato, lemon, eggs, and kefir, and cucumber. And you're going to start with the potatoes, is that yeah. right? You nearly have potatoes nearly every day. Yeah. And you have them cold or hot or... Do you have mashed potatoes? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah it's, it's big, isn't it? Yeah, it's famous for mashed potatoes. Which part of Ukraine are you from? Yeah, from Kiev. And when the war started, you were in, in Kiev, were you? Yeah. And what were you doing there? I will go to the IT field. In the IT field, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so how are we doing here? There's enough potatoes. I've yeah. made a mess of those. Yours looks beautifully uh, <laughs> square and everything. You should put it to the bowl. Put everything in the bowl, yeah. okay. So we've got our potatoes, which were pre-boiled, they're not raw. The next it will be cucumber. The, the cucumber, okay. Yeah. And we don't need all of that, do we? So you yeah. do half of it. I think that will cut it enough. Yeah, caught yeah. it. Do you enjoy, when you're here, eating Ukrainian food? Yeah, I live now in hotel, so I It's cooking. hard, is it? Right. Yeah. Take some eggs. They don't have to be Ukrainian eggs. They can be. <laughs> so just chop these really small, yeah? Yeah. It's a big country. People forget yes, of how course. large Ukraine yeah. is. How many times? Several times bigger than France, isn't it? So yeah, exactly. And it's in Europe. The spring onions look like next. Yeah. And you use all the bits. So some people just use the white end. I not really like a white one. Uh, I prefer green. You prefer all the green yeah. bits, do you? Yeah. Okay. Is this used in many dishes? The ends of the spring onion? Yeah, I think in every dish. Every dish. <laughs> yeah. I believe like um, it onion that you're not you real. In the world of, the, of gut health, we, we love spring onions. They're part of the family that have got these polyphenols that are been shown to be very good for your gut microbes. What's next? The next is dill. Dill is a common herb, is it, in Ukraine? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think in, uh, clean our stomach. And so I just put these on here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm super excited. We've got our base salad here and it's packed with these uh, green, bright, uh, high polyphenol plants making our, our 30 a week. And we're going to make it even better. So I'm so excited that you're telling me the dressing actually contains kefir, fermented milk. Okay, and this is super common, I understand, in Ukraine. It's even more common than yogurt. Yeah, of course. You can uh, drink uh, kefir or you can uh, put in salad or even uh, make pancake. It has five or ten times more microbes than normal yogurts. So you're diluting it with water yeah. and we're just diluting it so it's not too strong. Yeah. So we're going to mix it around. Then I will put the lemon juice. Okay. Now you can put that. Right, so just pour it straight on the salad, right? Yeah. Okay, Allah, uh, I think we need a bit of seasoning, don't we, to finish this off. Yeah. So, okay, so this is salt. Okay, so we'll do some pepper. Okay, do you, do you want to mix it around and, yeah, and see if it's mix. enough? You mix it around, okay. Yeah, it's nice. Now, we just need to garnish it with the, the radishes. Yeah. And radishes are quite a common part of uh, Ukrainian cooking, aren't they? Yeah. Sometimes you can uh, cut radishes and put salt cream. Salt cream? Yeah, okay. it depends on the person. Just put them all on the top. Um, yeah, just uh, cut and uh, after this, uh, like how you feel, just for beauty. Just for beauty, yeah. okay. Lovely, all right, so that we leave that now. Yeah. We're going to serve it with some Ukrainian accompaniment, something like this. You'd have some fermented vegetables, uh, which is uh, basically your, your cabbage and your carrots, maybe onions uh, in brine. And uh, these are common, the, the little baby, Cucumbers. Yeah. But remember, you don't have them in vinegar, do you, in Ukraine? Uh, no. It's important to realize that the vinegar ones kill the microbes, so we like the ones in salty brine. I think I'm going to start serving us a little taster of this. Yeah, let's uh, So, what would you say in Ukrainian just before eating this? It's much 
Okay, smash nocha. Yeah. Let's go. Mm, that is delicious. It's so refreshing and I can feel so many ingredients that are really good for you. And I can just see how this is a perfect for a, for a nice summer's day. Thank you so much for sharing these amazing Ukrainian dishes and cultures and your, your experience with us. It's been an absolute pleasure. You're welcome, Tim. Thank you for inviting me. For everyone at home, do uh, follow this recipe and in it really rejoice and enjoy in this incredible Ukrainian culture and all these incredible foods that a lot of them turn out to be really good for us. So it's a fantastic combination and a really good way to uh, help the fundraising cause, the Food for Ukraine campaign, all the details are below. Thank you for joining us.